everyone. I know it has been a while since I have recorded anything. Um, probably about a week. I didn't podcast this week. I didn't do anything. I needed a break. <laughs> and uh, apparently I needed to not say that I needed a break. I just took a break. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I feel really, really good not having recorded anything even though I kept being like, oh, I should document this. So much has happened in the last week in good ways. And I will go over all of that um, eventually. Right now, I am sitting in a church parking lot across the street from a garden center because I purchased flowers through a band fundraiser. And I am early for pickup. And it's a small parking lot and it seems rather crowded. So we were supposed to text when we were on our way. And I texted when I anticipated arriving. And the person in charge said, mm, maybe come 45 minutes later. So I'm gonna sit in this parking lot for about 40 minutes. I have a sock to work on that um, I messed up on. It has had a twist in it. I took it back to just the cast on round and did not uncast on because I cast it on with a crochet hook and I don't have my hook with me because it was already cast on. I was like eight rounds in before I realized I had a twist. So now it's untwisted and I can just go around. I'm doing a 20 round cuff of Knit 2 Pearl 2. So super easy, mindless, and I will also be reading The Bell Jar. While I wait, I just have it propped in my center console. I'll show you. So here's my setup, propped on the center. I have my sock. I'm gonna just knit and read at the same time and my yarn is going to hold my book open. Perfection. Good morning, sunshines. Out for a walk with this handsome guy. And I finished the cuff of my sock. But I'm only four blocks away from home, so it's okay. I can make it without knitting. Just some yarn drying on a mailbox. First six mile trail walk of the summer. Yay! Walking with these three weirdos. My shoes were hurting my feet. My right foot was getting a cramp in the 
outside of the arch, whatever that's called. So took them off at about mm, 0.75 miles. <laughs> so I'll do the rest of the 5.25 miles barefoot, I guess. I might put them back on the shoes when it's time to walk on the street. We'll see. My sister got me a fan with a nightlight for my birthday. I am so excited. It's just a little fan. But it's surprisingly powerful. It's on its lowest light setting and its lowest oscillation setting. No, that's not the right word. Whatever. It's on the lowest settings right now and it feels really nice. So I'm super excited. It's really nice because it means that I'll be able to read with a book light in bed and Patrick won't um, be able to yell at me for turning on the overhead light. In other news, I'm getting ready for bed and today we read outside. I took a pokey walk even though yesterday my foot was really hurting me. Um, the same, so I wore a different pair of shoes. The same cramping thing happened cramping thing happened for, let's see, I walked probably a block and a half and then it started feeling crampy and I was like, oh no, but worst case scenario, I can just take lots of breaks. But then I just walked around a park for probably, let's see, Pokemon said it was 0.3 kilometers and the cramp went away. So I don't think that I have a, um, a foot injury, like a real foot injury. I am going to see if I can find another different pair of shoes. I have two more pairs that I can try um, to see if it mitigates the cramping problems. Because I really don't want to give up walking. Um, in other, other than news, I started reading... Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson, which I have started once or twice before. I definitely started it when Mara was a baby. I started reading it when I was nursing her because that was pretty much the only time I had during the day to read was when she was nursing. And she, it, she wasn't a tiny baby nursing. It was like when she was about a year old, right before she would take her afternoon nap. That's when, um, that's when I would read and it was like my only reading time because kids. Um, so I started reading it then, but then I had to return it to the library and I never rechecked it out. And there is Sophie's World being read in like two page chunks. Um, but yeah, anyway, so Snow Crash, I started reading that and then I stopped because I had to return it to the library and then I saw it at the thrift store. So I picked it up and I may have started reading it right after I picked it up, but maybe not. I don't remember. So I'm starting from the beginning instead of trying to figure out where I left off, you know, eight years ago. Oh my gosh, the coolest thing happened. By the way, I got a phone call from Mara's teacher, and Mara is Panther of the Month for, I think it's Determination. That's super exciting. And of course, um, so the way that Panther of the Month is working, that's the Student of the Month thing. And normally, when we're not in the midst of a pandemic, 
there's a ceremony and the kids stand up in front of the assembly and you take pictures and you make a poster and this will be Mara's third time being third or fourth third I think time being panther of the month um, so the her teacher is sending the teachers always do like a little speech about why that particular student got Panther of the Month. And so her teacher is sending us a letter that will have a little certificate and will say um, that she's Panther of the Month and then we'll take a picture. So when all of that ar arrives, whenever that arrives, I will be sure to share that with you. But that was really exciting. I was getting ready to go on a pokey walk so I was changing over laundry. I'm standing in my laundry room and my phone starts ringing. I'm like, what is going on? And it's Mara's teacher and I'm like, they just had their class meeting yesterday. What could she possibly need to check in on? And also why is she calling me instead of sending me a text? But it was a lovely phone call and I really liked that. I also did knit group today and exciting news. My local yarn shop is reopening, kind of. They have been doing curbside pickup stuff right now for the past few months. Um, but now they're opening the shop for shopping. But it's open only by appointment and they're only open for four hours a day. So... I have birthday money and I want to spend it at my local yarn shop because this part is less cool. Um, the Karen, the lady who runs social and who is my favorite, she is currently working like as a volunteer because the yarn store can't pay her. So yeah, I knew that I wanted to spend my money at the yarn store anyway, um, because I will be super sad if they go out of business, but now even more so. So yeah, my sister and I are going to go on Friday. Um, Karen said that it's not going to be the most amazing shopping experience because the store is not as full as it normally is because they canceled their orders for spring yarns due to the pandemic and not knowing what was going to happen. So it'll be good. My sister and I are going. There's a limit of two customers and one employee in the store at a time. Um, it has to be by appointment. So my sister and I have an appointment. Friday. I will maybe take footage if I remember. Um, but yeah, that should be... That's where I want to spend my birthday money. I want to spend my birthday money at small businesses that I really, really appreciate. So, tomorrow's my birthday. I'll be 34. Right, 34. I don't actually know what age I am most of the time. I really have to think about it. So yeah, I will be 34. And I am looking forward to the day. It's supposed to storm a little bit, which I'm excited about. It's already cooler today than it was yesterday, so that's nice. And it's supposed to cool down even more in the next few days, which I'm excited about. And we are going to order some food so for something for carry out. I don't know what we're going to order, um, but it's my decision because it's my birthday. So I'm going to do some research, look up some local food places, see if they're open. If not, then look at some chain food, but it's still local because it's still the restaurant in my area, right? But I'd much rather support a actual local place. But I don't know. We'll see what I get.